Mimi. Welcome back to the craft dungeon. Dirty paintbrush here. Where the paintbrushes are always dirty, but your mind's always crafty. <coughs> that's a really dumb. <laughs> that's a really dumb intro. <clears throat> I'll come up with something better, I promise. I like the paintbrushes are always dirty part, though. Because that's true. As you can tell, my paintbrush is now sitting in nasty, dirty water. And if you hear yelling from a teenage type boy, I apologize. My son's playing Xbox in his room. And that's alright. Um, I'm going to turn off the space heater. It gets a little cold in the craft dungeon and as dark as my soul is I must be cold-blooded because I'm always cold so I got my <clears throat> my deliveries in the mail today or in the I love Amazon Prime and I love that they ship it um, and hand it off to the USPS and they deliver on Sundays this means that I can receive packages at home and not have to worry about ooh, see I have a bunch of this foamy stuff, which is great for, um, I use these sometimes on my uh, projects as pop dots. I cut them into squares and then I glue them down to give things dimension. So I've got a ton of it. I really don't need any more. This is the lamp that I ordered. Um, it had a, <clears throat> a lot of good reviews. <clears throat> Very similar to, I think Ott makes one like this. That is, um, and I'm sorry, the, I've got the Cricut machine cutting out more die cuts in the background. Big surprise. Um, but I think the, the Ott light makes a light like this. But this is... Hold on, see, i got to turn it upside down for you. Sorry. Um, this is the Tautronics Dimmable Touch LED Desk Lamp. Um... I decided that I wanted to try this after reading the reviews. Um, if this works well, I'm going to order another one so that I, at least one more, so that I have one for my other desk. Um, so I'm just going to move some of my stuff out of the way because I'm going to unclamp the light that's up there now and put it away. And then I'm going to set this one up and we're going to play with it and see um, how well it works. And I definitely appreciate any feedback in the comments um, as to, you know, if you like the lighting better, if you think it makes a difference at all, um, anything like that. Because it's, it's you know, it's I did buy it because mainly because I just need better lighting in this room. I, um, it's cloudy today and I have the, the blinds open and I have the overhead light on. I've got the lamp on, on the other side of the room and I have, I don't know why I'm, I'm going to have to go to Michael's today, y'all, because they have their 12 by 12 iris cases. Um, it's an additional 20% off your entire purchase, which by the way, Michael's can't do math because... The email I got today was talking about, you know, like things that are already on sale for 40% off. And then if you use your extra 20% off your entire purchase coupon, it's now 50% off. And I'm like, what? 40 plus 20 is 50 now? So apparently I'm guessing their marketing people don't, don't do maths. Or I'm just haven't had enough coffee yet. Because I'm pretty sure that I grew up learning 40 plus 20 was 60. And it doesn't matter if it's a percent or not. It's still 60. So, um, yeah. So, basically, I'm just kind of moving everything that is down here. Just so I don't knock a bunch of stuff over and make a mess. And I will probably end up figuring out how to do that anyway. It doesn't take much for me to make a mess. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this out before I un unclamp the other lamp. But this is how it comes packaging. Packaged. This is how it comes packaging. I love how they send you a cloth with this stuff. Like, like is that their selling point or is that just the cheap thing that um, 
free six months extended warranty. Register for 18 months total. Hey, why not? <clears throat> why not? I'll keep that and I'll try real hard to remember to uh, do that. And then after I register, I can throw that in my scrap box and make a tag out of it. Multi-purpose, people. Multi-purpose. It's what we're doing. It's the name of the game. All right. So... I got another um, light as well. It's a magnifying light that has a light ring around it. And I mainly got that um, just for me to be able to use uh, to do some fine detail work. Especially if I'm weeding out some small die cuts or painting um, a small picture or coloring with markers. Um, just because my eyes suck. So it helps for me to have a magnifying glass. Um, I do have like a, a small, real small one on a stand that has a little LED light and it's okay. But this, this one that I ordered was like 30 bucks and it's quite a bit bigger and it clamps to the side of the desk. So I figure there should be enough room on my desk, um, for this light plus the magnifying glass. So, um, I'm not good with cords. It's going to take me a minute to get this unraveled. Okay. Every time I uh, I touch a cord, it tangles. So basically, this this folds all up. Okay. So you can adjust the angle um, of the of the light bar itself. Um, you can turn the light um, this way and this way. And this was um, Dawn. I hope you're watching. I'll let you know when this video is posted. Um, I talked with her just a bit yesterday and told her I was getting this light um, because she was asking questions. And just so anybody knows, I'm not saving the bubble wrap because I've got tons of bubble wrap. I use this for texture stamps. Oh, but it's already in a little pocket. Okay, I am going to save the bubble wrap. I just didn't want any of you screaming because I wasn't saving it, but... but now I've decided I have to because I could stick my fingers in the little pocket that's already there. Okay. Anyway. So, um, so how this works is, so it's an LED and it, it turns all the way, um, sideways, I guess you could say. So the light, the light is here. Um, and apparently it goes, so it goes this way. So it pivots here as well. So you can do this. So basically when you're not using it, you could fold it all the way down into like a stick and it would, you know, sit nicely and compactly in the corner of your desk. And then it also uh, swivels down here as well on the base. And um, yeah, so that's really nice as well. Um, and it does not, and it does pivot down here as well, back and forth. So it'll go that far back. And it's, 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 uh, it's tight. It's not loose. It's nice and tight. So, um, yeah, it looks like, I mean, I'm really excited about this because it looks like you should be able to get some good directed light here. Uh, it's also got a USB charging port. Not, I don't know that I care too much about that other than maybe, um, it might be helpful to plug my phone in there when I'm recording and my battery's low, which never happens, right? So I'm gonna get down here and unplug this lamp. I'm gonna turn it off first. Oh yeah, see, I was just looking to see how big of a difference that made on the, um, so the one that I have up here now is a clamp light. Um, this new one is not. I think, I think this new one had a newer version and it might have come with a clamp. I actually, I'm not sure that it did. The I looked and the there was like a $15 difference in the new version versus this version, and the only difference was that it had the like the USB 3.0 or whatever, um, a better USB charger. And I don't care about that. That's not the reason why I'm getting it, and I wasn't willing to pay an extra, um, you know, $15 for that. So that's just me. So I'm going to position this so that the base is on the very corner of my workstation um, so that I can have maximized my space. 
and then I'm going to come down here and plug it in. Hold on. Okay. Well, let's see if it works. Oh, it does. Okay. So this is, um, you can basically slide your finger over the, and I'm not reading any instructions just so everybody knows, but, um, I'm just messing. So this is the lowest brightness setting. You can slide your finger along here. There is a, I don't know if you can see it because I've kind of got this, the light bar in the way. But there is a digital um, display down here and you can slide your finger over and then make it that much, that brightness. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the corner. And it looks like, um, so yeah, I can pivot it any way I want to. And I think this will be good. I think that if this works well, oh, I just bumped my head on the camera. Sorry. Donk. Um, I will probably, and I like this. I used to have an LED light bar. I've got some shelves hanging up, some wooden shelves that my husband actually made several years ago. They're very nice shelves. And we actually, um, took an LED light bar that we bought like at Lowe's and used some double-sided tape and stuck it to there. And I wanted a really bright, you know, like a 4,000, 6,000 K, whatever, white light. And it was so bright and you couldn't position it at all. And it was so close to my workstation and so bright that it gave me a freaking migraine trying to work with this. So I think this is bright, but it's not going to, well, you don't want to look right at it. Not going to kill my eyes. Um, let me see here. So this changes the, the um, color. I, I don't know if you can tell the difference. Yeah, you can. So this is making it less white and more yellow. So I think this is the, the whitest setting it goes. Let's see. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's five different um, color settings. And I believe as crafters, we want the white light. That's going to give you the most true colored, um, true color. I believe, and I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure that's what I've, what I've read. That's what I've subscribed to over the years at least. So, um, that's what I go for. So I'm kind of wondering if I can position this a little off the edge and more in so that I can get. So you'll notice that it, for me, this covers my area pretty well. I think that um, I definitely would want to consider getting another one. The cricket's finally done cutting. Yay. Um, just so that, because I, I can tell it's a little darker over here. But this is great. I like this a lot better than the light that I just had up here. Um, and so, yeah, I can adjust it however I need. So I've got a lot of it kind of right under the camera right now. Um, not a lot of it, but it's... It's positioned kind of against the wall and tilted up so that the, the camera is definitely getting some light, some good light from that. Um, I, I'll have to go back and watch this and kind of see how it looks, but I feel like it's definitely better than the light I had with the other lamp. Um, and since it's LEDs, it's not going to get hot, not going to take a lot of power. Um, you don't have uh, CFL bulbs to change out um, the lamp that I just took off. My desk was was hot. It was hot on top and it was hot at the base. And of course, if I'm in here on a weekend for several hours, that makes me a little nervous and I don't like it. Um, so yeah, that is, I had to cut out some more of these cameo things because these are just um, awesome. I'm loving them so much. So yeah. Um, so the other thing I, I'm definitely going to work on is getting a, I could probably remove this 
matte when I'm doing stuff like this because I think the um, the dark tabletop would actually work better for recording. Um, I think I had mentioned it before, but just in case anybody's curious, my tables came from Ikea. Um, I love my, my dark tabletop. It's a funny story behind that too, because we went, Ikea is about two and a half hours from here. And we bought these, um, I think in January of last year. I will say the dark tabletop gets very dusty very quickly. And if that bothers you, you're constantly going to be wiping it off. Um, and it obviously bothers me for whatever reason. What did I just do with my other piece? Here it is. So, um, yeah, I love the tables. They're very sturdy. I mean, they really, they, I mean, you can set eyelets on them with hammers. You can do all, you know, all kinds of stuff. And there's not a lot of, um, there's no movement. And the, these are on carpet. Um, the, the table legs have a little bit of a, you know, a leveling adjustment of foot on them. Um, so the way Ikea works when you buy stuff like this, you buy your tabletops and then you pick out your legs. And then like uh, in the case of these, um, we got some, some, some drawers. So the set of drawers has five drawers in it. Three of them are deeper and then two of them are a little bit shallower. So you would actually use the drawers to hold up the one end of the table and then you would just need two table legs if you're going to do the drawers. Um, so I've got two sets of drawers because I've got two of these tables. The other table like this my computer is set up on and it's basically just kind of to, off to the side, uh, kind of the back side of me. Um, because in between these two tables um, I've got a, a curved table. Um, that's the one that I record, the white table that I record on sometimes. And it kind of like um, connects them all together. So it's all, it's like an L shape. Um, uh, so the reason why we have a white table is because we went and we bought this stuff. And my husband was determined that it was going to all fit in his car. In the trunk of his car because we can actually fit more in the trunk of his two-door Honda Civic than we can in the back of my Kia Soul, believe it or not, um, because his back seat folds down and it's actually a little bit wider and a little bit uh, deeper. So, anywho, uh, we went there and we got so we let when we we went there and we bought everything right. We bought all three tabletops, all the legs and the tr the two drawer units and the the corner piece was was too wide to fit into his trunk. We tried every which way to get it to fit um, so that we could bring it all home. And we, we actually had to go back and return it because we could not fit it in the car. It was devastating, right? First world problems. Um, but <laughs> so what happened was we, <laughs> that, that was for my friend Dee Dee, Denise. Uh, what happened was we <laughs> had to um, we had to go back uh, a couple months later when we could find the time to get back up to uh, where IKEA is closest to us, and we uh, we got up there and they didn't have any of this like black brown uh, tabletop in the corner table, and I was like I'm not waiting again I don't care so they're mismatched. So, you know, but I'm eclectic, so I don't care. It's miss, it's, it's, it's a Mod Podge mishmash of, of stuff. So I've got the white tabletop in the center, or what I call the center, the, the middle of my workspace. I think I've got everything out of that one. And then I've got the, um, and I think, yeah, I think the way this goes is like that. Obviously, you know, they have it so you would cut it different colors, but um, I'm not cutting it different colors because um, this stuff will all end up getting painted anyway. So, yes. Um, so that's what happened. We went back uh, later on with a, a pickup truck so that we could, my dad actually, we went back after a week after my dad bought his new truck and took it up there, took it on a little road trip and went up there 
so that we could bring my desk back, uh, the, the middle part of my desk. So for a couple of months, I just had my two, my two, um, kind of side desks and then I had nothing in the middle. And then we finally went back and got my corner, uh, desk so that we could kind of just, uh, finish it all, finish it all up and put it all together. So yeah. Anyway, funny story about the Ikea table, but I will have to get, uh, if I'm going to paint or something over here, I will definitely have to put paper down. If I, this table cleans up really nice and it's a craft table. I mean, I, I don't care that much if I get paint on it. I don't want, you know, paint built up on it to where it's hard and plasticky, obviously, because then the surface won't be smooth, but, um, I don't like have a freaking cow if I get paint on the table. If I catch it, you know, right away, you know, same working session, I just take a baby wipe and just wipe, clean it up. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but I think for recording, it works better not to have the uh, pink mat with all the, the grid lines. I just, I don't, you can't, I don't like it. Maybe it's just because it's pink. Um, I kind of want to get one of the Tim Holtz glass media mats. I know they were, they came, they were a big deal when they were released last year. Um, what are we doing here? Oh, here we go. Um, but I just, I have not been able to talk myself into spending the money. Um, they go on a little bit of a sale sometimes. Um, I could just get the clear We Are Memory Keepers one because it's a lot cheaper. It's not quite as big and it doesn't have that little white space over to the side where you can, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I love Tim Holt stuff. I do. Don't get me wrong. I love it. I just oftentimes, I'm cheap. I'm a cheap ass and I don't want to, um, I have to either have quite a bit of, you know, extra money to blow um, and it, it would be like an impulse buy or it has to be on a really good sale. Um, I've picked up stuff, you know, when like Hobby Lobby specifically has Tim Holtz 40% off. Um, uh, but they don't carry the, at least my Hobby Lobby doesn't carry the glass media mat. And I should have ordered it a couple weeks ago when I ordered some of my other stuff from Amazon because it was... Uh, I think it was like $30, $32 with free shipping. And I just, when I went back to add it to my cart the other day, it had went back up to like 45 And I know scrapbook.com had them on sale um, for a little while. I think they were $32.99 $32 maybe. And they came with like um, the ruler and a scraper or something. So it was like a little bundle. And it looks like a good deal until you go and put it in your shopping cart and go to order it. And then they charge you like $8 for shipping. And so I've been going back a lot and looking at Amazon and going, oh, okay, well with Prime, this is still cheaper. So when you're uh, buying craft supplies, you know, and I, mean, I look at Blitzy, they have a lot of stuff. They have some stuff that Amazon doesn't carry. Um, and, you know, watch out for the, their sales because the, you know, the price itself might look good, but once you, once they tack on that shipping, and I think Blitzy, most of the time, if your order is over $50, you get free shipping. So that might be okay if they have a good price on something, but, you know, just shop around. Um, I, I've been realizing lately that Amazon carries a lot of the stuff that I've been wanting. So I've been, I just have a list over there of stuff that I want. And then when I have the money to order it or enough, um, I don't know, impulsivity that I want to order it, I guess that I want to spend the money on it, then I'll order it. And I almost always get it, you know, within two days because I try to mainly stick to stuff that's Amazon prime. Um, it's nice to be able to get it at home and not have to, when I get, I, and when I'm working, I, I would rather have things sent to work. I don't like them left on my porch. Um, I don't, you know, I don't want people swiping stuff and you can only get it, you know, during the week at work, obviously. So, um, 
usually stuff like this, like when I order it and they say it'll be here Sunday, it gets here on Sunday. So I'm home um, and I'm expecting it and that's, uh, I'm, their shipping dates are pretty reliable for stuff like that. So yeah, that's how I've been working it. Okay, so I am going to, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and get this mat scraped off so that I can start something else. And then I love these. Um, these are so cute. And it would be helpful, yeah, if I could just be sitting here on my, on my butt and um, uh, zoom in my camera. I would have to stand up and then I'd have to turn the screen on and then I would have to, you know, pinch zoom it with my fingers. And it's not very accurate that way, but we'll, we'll work with what we've got, won't we? Um, so, yeah. I like the man because he's wearing like a top hat or not a top hat, but you know, a El Presidente Abe Lincoln type hat. Oh, am I going to get in trouble for saying Abe Lincoln? I don't know anymore. I don't, there's so many things to get in trouble for. It's hard to tell. So I think I'm going to go to Michael's today and get some of those 12 by 12 iris boxes. And then I also think I'm going to go ahead and buy, um, one of those containers that they have the littler boxes in, like the rainbow colored littler boxes, because all that, the storage stuff is 50% off right now, plus an extra 20. So that means it's 60% off right now. <laughs> really, it should be 70 if you know how to do math, but Michael doesn't know how to do math. Or they're just trying to screw us. I don't know. Um, but... I thought maybe those little boxes that, that all, you know, go with that, that all close individually but go into that container would be good for these die cuts because I was just going to throw them in my box of, um, I kind of have my, my stuff sorted by size. So I kind of have a smaller box for my small, I guess that's my junk box instead of a junk jar. So it's my box. And I've got small stuff in one, and then I've started getting so much more stuff that I save, like packaging and things like that, that I also have a medium. Don't laugh. I don't have the Cricut scraper. It would be nice to have the great big one. Um, this one works. This works just fine, though, to get this stuff off of here. So, yeah, it just takes a little longer because I don't have the nice, big, long Cricut one, but... Um, so, yeah, I was thinking that if I try to put all these in that box with all this uh, the other stuff that I've got in there, that it's just going to get all bent and stuck to each other and torn. And so I'm wondering if maybe it might work better to put especially some of these more detailed cuts into those little boxes so that they lay flat. Because the way my stuff is now, it's kind of all um, up on its side in these totes. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Let me get the rest of the drives me nuts. Get off there. And then it sticks to my scraper. Um, let me set that aside. But I've got piles of die cuts over here. And then I just got my trash can and I just wipe it right off. Um, so like this is my box of small stuff. And um, it's all just kind of in here like this. And I've got die cuts and some other stuff that I've cut out of the Cricut machine out of thinner paper. Um, you know, I, I've gotten some stuff that I've received in Happy Mail, these really pretty flowers out of magazine pages. But they get bent up in here, and so I, I need a better way to do this because I've got some lighter stock. What's going on? What fell? Oh, the trash bag. I've got some lighter stock and some thicker stock stuff in here. This is paper, um, you know, and I just don't want it to get ruined. And so some of this stuff, I cut these feathers out of this script paper. I thought those were cool. I, I've used those on several things. Um, but yeah, some of this stuff like I get is getting kind of bent. It looks like this was made out of painty paper. It's so pretty. I love it. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm really bad at showing things to the camera because I forget that I have to move my hand forward and up. Okay, so can you see the shine? Maybe there was some of that color shift paint used or some metallic paint. Anyway, but I've got all kinds of stuff in here. So 
Um, I think that storing it like this, it's just going to get, and if it gets bent a little bit, it's not a huge deal because, um, you know, a lot of this is going in, you know, junk journals and glue books and stuff and I can straighten it back out and I'm putting it down with Mod Podge or whatever, but yeah, I think I would like to kind of, to reorganize this down even more into the, I think it would be helpful to have them laying flat in some boxes. So I might try that. I mean, if that, if I end up paying 20 bucks for that thing, you know, it's, it's not to me a big, a big deal. It's not a big loss. If it doesn't work, I'll find something else to put in there. So anyway, um, so that's my smaller stuff. And then I've got, um, a bigger tote with bigger stuff. <laughs> yeah. And then I've got an even bigger tote with even bigger stuff. But I save things like this is my packaging from my envelope scoreboard. Nice thick. I tore it on one side, but I've still got plenty left good that I can use. But I keep so much packaging um, that, yeah, here's my packaging from my hole punch. Um, yeah, so there's all kinds of stuff that I keep. Um, I've got painty papers in here. I've got stuff that I've printed out um, on regular copy paper that I want to cut out um, and, and those kinds of things. So I've got all, all kinds of stuff in here. Um, and then I've saved some of my baby wipes that have pretty colors on them so I can use those for texture in my journal. And now I'm going to have to wipe off my <laughs> desk again because... It's just getting little dusty things everywhere, but I like to rip these, and then I like the little fuzzies that it leaves on the ripped edge um, in my book when I use them. So I've got a bunch of those in there as well. I don't save them all because a lot of them I end up wiping off uh, glue and stuff onto as well, and they just get kind of hard and sticky, but... Um, so then I've got this, and then I've got an even bigger box that's got um, even bigger pieces in it. So, yeah. Um, here we go again. Watch. Oof. Dusty. So, while I have you, and since I got this other lamp, I will go ahead and get it out, too. Um, and see, I mean, it's possible that I could use that, you know... I could maybe move this lamp to one side of my desk and then use this because this is a clamp on. Um, yeah, so this is a Bright Tech Light View Pro Flex. It's a two in one LED magnifying lamp. And I, this had good reviews as well. Again, I think it was like. $29.99. It might, it might have been $34.99. Either way, it was relatively cheap. Um, you know, if it helps me do more of that detailed work, great. Um, because I think sometimes I don't want to do that stuff because it's hard for me to see what I'm doing. So this might help alleviate some of that. Everybody can cringe while I'm using my X-Acto knife to cut through packing tape because it's probably just going to ruin the blade. But I've got more blades. And I'm a rebel. I am a rebel. So this comes with a base and it comes with a clamp. Um, I, would prob I will probably use the clamp as long as it fits my table, which it should. Yes, it does. Um, I would probably use this just to conserve table space. Uh, um, that way I don't have a bunch of, oh, these things came off. It actually comes with little silicone. Oh man, you gotta be strong to keep this open um, so that it doesn't ruin your, <laughs> these popped off, um, so that it doesn't ruin your table, which, so that's nice. Um, I don't even know if you can see what I was doing here, but it's got little silicone pads in there. Okay. Um, 
this is my flexible, and this is very, um, it's, it's metal, it's flat, it's kind of a rubbery coating, I guess. Um, it's, it's nice and, and heavy and sturdy. The base itself is very heavy, actually. It's, it's very heavy. Um, this is my flexible gooseneck, and it's, um, it's sturdy. Um, this is plastic, which fine. Yeah, but I have said metal. I think it's just, it's nice and heavy. I'm pretty sure the gooseneck is some sort of metal, obviously. And then it's coated in kind of a soft, I would call it like a, a rubbery plastic. Um, so yeah, I am not going to, I am most likely not going to use the base. Um, I'm most likely going to use the clamp, so I'm going to set this aside for a moment and see about connecting this. Let me put the styrofoam back in the box. And cords again. Cords are always fun for me, yes. Am I, am I recording right side up or wrong side up? sometimes I don't know what it's doing and I, I think that I think I'm recording the wrong way because I think this would be upside down wouldn't it is it and then upside it is upside down so it's recording the wrong way so sorry about that I don't know why it's doing that um, I put my phone up there the same way that I always do and usually when I look at the screen my hands are coming in from the bottom and they're coming in from the top so my phone's being dumb today kind of like Michael's is being dumb today they can't do math and my phone can't record in the right orientation so we're two for two guys <sighs> so I'm untangling the cord which is a chore for me because cords are apparently my nemesis so, this goes into the, let me see what we're doing here. This goes probably into the little groove and then turns around so that it locks. Yeah, so what we have here is we have, uh, we have a little uh, groove here and a, uh, see, I suck at this. I am not a pro YouTuber. There's a little thingy here, a thingy, and it fits into the groove, so it fits in backwards to begin with, and then you turn it so that it locks, basically, or, you know, stays, so you can still swing this around, um, it's, you know, loose in here, loose enough that you can turn it, plug the power in, and this is, not, I mean, unless the light on this thing is like super good. I don't necessarily intend on using this all the time. Um, this was, you know, something for me to use when I needed extra help with, like I said, with like fine detail work. So, um, oh, I want to turn this over because the button for the light is on the bottom. Nope. The button for the lights on the top. I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. So the only thing right now, yeah, I can see that I, the clamp, it depends on the size of the project I'm working on. Um, because this doesn't go very far over, you know, the center of my table is like over here. So, I mean, this would definitely work if I can, it's very clear as long as I keep the magnifying glass clean. <laughs> um, excuse me while I find my power strip here. Space heater, move that over. Yeah, the, I'm glad that I have power strips down here, but I hate um, plugging those kinds of adapters into them because they take up like two plugs worth of space. So, I, you know, it may just come down to the, the fact that I'll need another shelf in here. Um, the things that I had on the back of the table were like pins. I had two buckets of colored pencils. I've got these pins back there and then I have my gel pins. They don't have to be, um, on the table. Um, 
I think I had talked about this before, but originally, oh, so here's the, the lights. Yeah. So this has a nice light um, as well. So if I were going to use this, like let's say I was sitting here, you know, weeding one of these fine, finer detailed die cuts like I was doing last night. Um, it, you know, it is harder for me to see in some of these little areas and especially if I needed to go over them with an X-Acto knife. Um, so if I, if I use this, oh yes, this is great. Um, I can see every little place where the blade kind of scratched the paper, um, stuff that I can't see as well. Um, I, and yeah, I'm not sure if it matters to me. I'll know when I, when I really need to use this. I don't know if it matters to me that it, um, you know, only goes about this far on the clamp. Um, I guess the good thing about it is if I was working at the other table, um, I could just take this, I could leave the clamp here. I'd have to unplug it obviously, but I could leave the clamp here, unplug it, and then I could have my base set up on the other table, um, and then I could go over there and use it over there. So, I mean, I feel like it would be good to move around. It would be pretty quick to move it around. Um, and yeah, having all these lights shows all this dust on my table. So, um, yeah, I think for, for, for that purpose, this works great. Um, I've been known to, before I had any kind of magnifying glass on a stand, I have, I have actually sat here with a handheld magnifying glass and, you know, drawn a line or a detail or something. Um, so I won't have to, to do that anymore, which is nice. Um, the, the other thing I had, which I don't, this works well. Um, it comes with two different uh, magnifications and it's got a little LED light in it as well. Um, it gives off a little bit of light. Um, this is super transportable. So, you know, if you are just, just need real quick, I'm not going to get rid of this. I'm going to keep it. Um, it looks like this has a clamp too. Oh, this is an act. This is actually an ought light. <laughs> I don't remember buying this. I don't know where it came from. Um, that's interesting because for some reason I was thinking this was like a cheapy little Walmart thing, but it's not. This is an this is actually an Ot light. Um, it comes with two different um, magnifications of. Uh, I'm guessing one is like a. Ooh, well, let's drop it and break it everywhere. One's probably like a two two x two times and one's probably a five times. I don't know. Um, but they're interchangeable. You just turn it, you twist it and pull it out, put the other one in. Um, I'll be honest until last night, I forgot I even had this because it was put in my closet. <laughs> so, you know, I really may not have needed the bigger one, although I like the bigger area that it covers. So I do like that. I'm definitely going to, so this is like a base and it's rel you know, it's he relatively heavy. Um, you can store your, the one you're not using right here in the base. And then this clip basically just clips into the base right like that so that you can just put it on the base and use it or you could clip it to your workspace. So if you're looking for something that's completely um, transportable, yeah, I just got that new soft cloth. That's what I ought to use. I'm going to need, probably need some glass cleaner. This is really dusty. But yeah, I got this out last night, actually, when I was working on those silly little trees. So um, that's kind of funny that I forgot that I had it. Um, but I don't consider what I bought um, a, a waste. It will get used. It's got a bigger work area, uh, viewing area. I mean, it's got a brighter light. Um, so you can't go wrong with that at all. Um, obviously, you know, I don't know how long either one of these things are going to last. They're not aughts. They're not expensive. Um, 
Like I said, this one got good reviews. It looks like it might have some kind of, or is this just glare? I don't, I can't tell. I think that's just glare. I keep thinking there's like a smudge there, but I, I feel like that the way, there might be an imperfection a little bit in the glass of this. I like how I can, yeah, tilt it like this. And I think I'm going to love it. So um, I can shut that off now. So yes, anyway, I wanted to do a quick video about the lighting. Um, I guess I said I spoke with Don Calvin yesterday over at Let's Make a Mess Today briefly. Um, I know she's got, she had a really, really busy weekend. So um, I had just briefly mentioned to her that this stuff was coming today. So I will make sure that um, I let her know that this video is up. Um, but yeah, I think that to get um, a real good, I mean, I, I feel like this light's covering, you know, really what I need it to cover. So this is real super smooth over here and this is not as smooth. I wonder if it's because I've had a mat here. Squirrel. Um, yeah, I, I'm great. I love it. Um, I may not need two, although I think I would like to have one for my other table. Um, I, again, I wouldn't mind moving this to the other table if I was going to work over there. I think I've kind of talked about how I tend to do most of my super wet, messy stuff over there. Um, I have a tripod set up on the back of that table. Um, so that all I have to do is take my little phone adapter off of my little flexible, um, tripod that I've got attached to my shelf here and I can just take the phone tripod or the phone adapter off, screw it into the tall tripod and put it on the other table. Um, so it really takes like, you know, just a few minutes for me to switch tables if I'm going to record over there. But I think that I could just pretty easily move this lamp over there too if I wanted to. Um, all I have to do is just drop cords back behind the table and crawl under there and plug them in. But that's not a big deal. But I think... For 30 bucks, um, I would probably buy another one just so that I don't have to do that, so that I can just leave this here. But that's my um, video. I will link these two products down in the description box um, so that you can go uh, look them up on Amazon yourself, read the reviews. Um, please uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. If you like this light better than the light that I had before. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, I'd be happy to try to answer them. Um, so yeah, I am going to probably go eat some lunch because I'm hungry. And um, yeah, and then I'm going to get back to cutting out more die cuts and I'm probably going to go to Michael's at some point too. So maybe I'll have a haul to show you. So I, um, as always appreciate you coming to the crafty dungeon to check out what I've got going on and yeah, keep those paintbrushes dirty and I'll talk to you later. Bye.